informed by Senator Eddie now that he has learned, so long as he promised, as Mr. Speaker, not to be shouting at the Speaker, Mr. Speaker. But at the next opportunity, he must commit before informing me, Mr. Speaker, that he has learned the lesson of how to seek the attention of the Speaker. So, proceed to inform uh, Senator Eddie. Uh, uh, you know, majority, you, and I want to call you a very, a very special name, majority, not even senator. You have talked about a very patent issue on the issue of taxation. And I do agree with you to some extent that we must indeed raise some capital to be able to help our country to deal with the issue of debt. But it can't be that we, we are going towards over taxation because what I want to inform you about is that when you raise the taxes to the extent that we have seen them raised in the past few months, majority, even whether you like it or not, businesses have to make a business decision. Are you aware that 30% of our business today that the president found have now made decisions to close their businesses, including Saracen, that is the one of the biggest agency, marketing agencies in the country, have decided to cross borders and open offices in other countries so that they can avoid high taxation. The consequence, therefore, becomes that other means of seeking for this revenue before the president. And that is why the president now is forced to, to start looking for resources in other, otherwise, other places like ID cards, death certificates, and other things that cannot raise revenue. So high taxation is what we're talking about, and I want to urge you, uh, majority, that let us think about moderate taxation and not this high taxation that is killing business in this country. No, this is a point of, a point of information. Eddie, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, that one should be declared a point of misinformation, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, because the things that Eddie is saying are completely, Mr. Speaker, the opposite of things as they do. He needs to check the records of how many new businesses have registered this new financial year alone, Mr. Speaker. Because, Mr. Speaker, people can see the transformational path and the journey that Kenya is on. I can tell you for a fact that I know more than 100 businesses that have since set up shop in this country. They wouldn't be reporting. Don't be lied to, Senator Eddie, by many of these fake news reports that you read in our newspapers about countries moving here and the other country. There is no business that comes to do charity in Kenya. They are here because they know this is East Africa's largest economy. The opportunity to make profit here is better than in any other East African country. So nobody should sit here and pretend as if they were doing any charity in Kenya. They are here to make money. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, I loud the policies that have been made. Finally, Mr. Speaker, on this particular issue of taxation, is that Senator Eddie and his team and those that think like him need to read and understand that Kenya's tax to GDP ratio stands at a paltry 17%. If you compare with our peers, countries that you want to compete with, South Africa and the Egypt and Nigeria, they are way higher, upwards of 20%, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, we cannot be competing with economies that are not in our region, Mr. Speaker. Smaller economies that are doing less than $50 billion GDP, Mr. Speaker. If we are aspiring to be a stronger economy, if we are aspiring, Mr. Speaker, to be a middle-income nation by 2030, as I suppose in Vision 2030, Mr. Speaker, then this is the right path that we have to accept, Mr. Speaker, that there will be temporary pain, Mr. Speaker, for permanent pleasure in the future, uh, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, I agree with the decision and the tax, uh, taxation policies that have been proposed uh, to the particular country. In fact, even on this controversial issue of the ID, Senator Hedy, do you know that the 100 shillings that you are talking about has been in existence, I don't know, since 19 what? I took my ID more than 20 years ago. I took my ID more than 20 years ago, Mr. Speaker. I paid 100. Is it the argument of those that are saying government should not review whatsoever that 100 shillings, Mr. Speaker, that even the factors of production alone can inform it may not be the 2,000 shillings, Mr. Speaker, that is being proposed, but at least, Mr. Speaker, we must agree that I don't expect a president that I elected into office, President William Ruto, to go to China to beg for money to come and print IDs for my children if I can pay for the same, uh, Mr. Speaker, and so on and so forth on, 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 on many others, Mr. Speaker. There must be a review, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, finally, Mr. Speaker, I want... Finally... <laughs> Uh, finally, Mr. Speaker, I want to urge our colleagues from the minority side 
that even as you critique government, please offer alternatives.